Do you wanna learn how to efficiently work out at home? This video will break down exactly how you can be efficient while you're doing your home workouts. Arash Maksudi here, doctor of physical therapy with the Prehab Guys. So today I'm gonna to talk about how to efficiently exercise at home. The key here is to make sure you understand how to pair, superset, or perform short circuits with exercises. So I'm gonna take you guys through a few different movements. I'm gonna break every exercise down into four different things, whether it's upper body push, upper body pull, anterior chain dominant exercise for the lower body, or posterior chain dominant exercise for the lower body. So let's get to it. The first thing will be a common push-up. So same thing as what you've probably done before, but you're getting on the floor, really making sure your shoulder blades are engaged, and you're going down, pushing up, you can do a regular push-up. If this is too challenging, you can modify the push-up by going on your knees or using an elevated surface to perform the push-up. So this is a horizontal push. You want to superset this with the horizontal pull. I'll show you here. This is an inverted row, which I have a barbell here, and you're going to put your feet out. The further you put your feet, the more horizontal you are, the more challenging this is. You wanna make sure to really squeeze the shoulder blades back while you perform this exercise. Now, if you don't have this setup, which I'm assuming most of you guys don't have this setup at home, no problem, just get a band, loop it around, anchor it on somewhere, and then you're gonna do a horizontal row using a band. So same idea here, you're just pulling the band, squeezing the shoulder blades back, and then allowing the arms to come back forward. So that's superset one. Now, let's go into uh, vertical push and vertical pull. So this is more of this motion here, overhead. I'll show you this one. This one's kind of challenging. All you need is a wall, hands on the floor, and then I'm gonna kick my legs up towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna stabilize myself here, and now I'm gonna do an overhead press here. It's, this is a lot of shoulders with this exercise. Really push overhead, and this is challenging for a lot of people, so if you can't do this full overhead, Exercise, no problem. All you need is a floor for this one. You can go into like a downward dog position and the same idea. You're going down and then pushing up. Going down, pushing up. It's the same idea, same movement, and you can control how much you load the shoulders based on where you put the body weight. This is more shoulders, this is less shoulders because I'm putting more weight on my legs. So that's overhead push. Now overhead pull, uh, ideally, you'll have a pull-up bar, so if you come over here, you can see that if you have this cool setup, great, we can do overhead pull using a pull-up bar. Doing a few reps here. Now, if you don't have this setup, same idea as before, you can use a band. So I have a band anchored up here, and I can go half kneeling and I'm really pulling down using my lats here. Come overhead, pull down, squeeze the shoulder blades back. And if you want, you can even sit down fully to make sure you get your arms fully overhead here. And you can choose a band of desired resistance. If double arm is too easy, you can just use one arm and do one arm at a time. So that's for the upper body. Horizontal push, horizontal pull, vertical push, vertical pull, and you superset those. Now let's go to the lower body. So for the lower body, you wanna superset an anterior chain, meaning like more of the quads, with a posterior chain exercise, more like the glutes and the hamstrings. So superset one, what we'll do is do a, perform a goblet squat. For a goblet squat, I have a dumbbell here. You can use a backpack or anything loaded at home. So I have this up against my chest and I'm gonna go down and then push back up, keeping my back upright. I don't wanna to lean too far forward. I wanna keep my body upright. So this is a goblet squat anterior chain dominant. Now, I can superset this with a deadlift. So I'm going here, making sure my back comes forward, kind of the opposite of the goblet squat because I'm really letting my trunk come forward and most of the motion is happening at my hips versus the goblet squat was more at my more so on my knees. So superset goblet squat with deadlift. So that's an example of an anterior posterior chain dominant superset. And the last one I wanna show you guys is 
Another anterior posterior chain dominant exercise, doing a wall squat. So I'm up against the wall, lowering myself, and I can hold this or I can go up and down. If two legs is too easy for you, no problem. You can shift over to one leg and you should really feel the quad work with this exercise. So that's anterior. Now we'll go into posterior. We'll get on the floor and have you do either a double or a single leg bridge. Here's a double leg where you're really squeezing the glutes. Too, too easy, no problem. Lift one leg up, go single leg. Really feel the glute work with this one. So the idea is when I'm using the back posterior chain muscles, my anterior chain muscles aren't really working so hard. So that way I can keep going back and forth. Same thing with the upper body. When I'm pushing, the muscles that I'm, I use to pull are relaxing and not really being worked. So that way that, those muscles are given a break and I can just keep going back and forth. And that'll make working out at home very efficient. So if you like this, we have a lot of at-home prehab programs that you can do at the convenience of your home um, with very, very minimal equipment needed. So I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you like this video, please give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, let us know if there's anything else that you want us to film. Um, we know there's, this is crazy times right now. A lot of people are not able to go out um, and so we want to make sure everyone has access to high quality information, able to perform exercise at the convenience of their home, because we know how important exercise is for more than physical health. Um, but yes, let us know what you think of this video. Thanks guys.